大家好，我叫 Precious， 或我叫 Lady。Something。啊、呃，我是老师。啊、呃，今天 we're going to do a video about five sentences that I've learned in Chinese, and I hope you you find this helpful. And if you are Chinese, or you are Taiwanese, or you just know Mandarin or Chinese, ah, 不好意思，我讲错的话，对不起，我在学中文。Okay, very very sorry if I make a mistake and I'm saying the tones wrong. I'm very very sorry. 中文很难。Okay, so I take it upon myself to learn a little bit of Chinese. That makes my life easier. Obviously, I'm not perfect at it yet. I'm still learning. Um, sometimes I learn something and I think I got it, and then I didn't get it, and I still have to practice over and over again. Uh, please like this video if you find it interesting. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Do the right thing, and then share with your friends. So yeah. Um, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first sentence that I've learned uh, is, 你住在哪里 Right. This is where do you live. People like to ask this question everywhere you go. People ask you like, where do you live? You know, and then you don't know what it means because you don't know Chinese. <laughs> so then you are like stuck. Okay. Um. So I really, I really. Felt that it was important for me to the, to know this question because you can actually know other questions just based off based off of this one question. So they will ask you, "Ni ni chu zai nali?" Right? And then sometimes you just hear a question, but you don't really know what what is the question. But you hear the zai nali. You know the person is asking you about like maybe where do you work? Uh, you know, different question can be formed from just zai nali. Okay, <laughs> this is what I figured out. So sometimes someone will ask me a question like, "Where do you work?" and then I just hear "Zai Nali," and then I just answer the question, and it happens that I'm actually correct because they were asking me, "Where do you work?" because you get these questions all the time, same questions over and over again. So, yeah, that's first question. I find the sentence very important to learn because you will come across people who are trying to sell something to you either over the phone they call the wrong number and they're trying to sell something to you or you see them in the streets and then they try to stop you because you're a foreigner and then they want you to buy something from them or you're at a market and they say hey come come here buy this buy that whatever so this is a very important sentence to learn in that regard so the sentence is tai kue la mai bu qi Okay, so Tai Kuala, it's expensive. My buchi means I I can't afford it. Okay, my my is buy, bu is not or can't I guess. Chi is you know afford. I, I'm guessing I can't afford it. Okay, this question is mostly asked um by old people. Mostly asked by old people, they will ask you this question. Or sometimes, for me, because I'm here in Taiwan with my family, they will ask my daughter. She's so cute. How old is she? Okay, so the question is, how old? Is, how old are you? Okay, so Nietzsche Sway, Nietzsche Sway, how old are you? Then you say, you know, I'm thirty, I'm twenty nine, I'm whatever. You have to learn the numbers in order for you to say that. <laughs> Maybe we'll cover that in the next video. Okay, so this this is one of the sentences that I've learned. So I know when the person asks me that question, you know, I just know how to answer it. I can either use my hands to show them, or if in the beginning I used my hands to show them, but now I know how to say that. You know, soon I'm going to be ah, ah, hmm, thirty, hmm, thirty, hmm, thirty. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, uh, next sentence. I think this sentence is very important if you're a teacher like me. Uh, it's important to learn this sentence. Maybe if you're not yet here in Taiwan and you're coming to Taiwan, it's very important for you to ask this, ask these questions maybe to your colleagues, so you can say 早安早安 is like good morning. So I know, like in 
China they say Zhao Shang, I think, but in Taiwan they always say Zhao An. Okay, so Zhao An, and then you say Jing Tian Hao Ma, like Jing Tian Hao Ma, are you good today? Today, how are you? Type of situation. People don't really say Ni Hao Ma, okay? People don't say Ni Hao Ma. I know all of us we learn this Ni Hao Ma. When we get here, no one says that. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can say, oh, Zhao An, Jing Tian Hao Ma, like, are you good today type of situation? You know, that's a really good, you know, sentence to learn. Next question is maybe you are in the mall, you are anywhere like outdoorsy, okay? Maybe you went to see a place around and you, you know, want to go get the restroom or you want to go to the restroom and you don't know where it is, okay? So you can stop a Chinese person and say, Ching Wen. Ching Wen is, excuse me, Ching Wen, Ching Wen. I'm probably not saying it correctly, but, but anyway, Ching Wen. Or you can say, Bu Hao Yizi, okay, Bu Hao Yizi, Bu Hao Yizi. I think Chinese people like to say Bu Hao Yizi, actually. Bu Hao Yizi, excuse me. Qi Shou Jian Zai Nali, Qi Shou, Qi, Qi Shou Jian Zai Nali. Where's the toilet? Where's the bathroom? Okay. Qi shou jian. Qi shou jian. Zai nali. Zai nali. Remember I told you about zai nali in the, earlier on in the video. So this is another question. You know, zai nali, you know, it's, you know, it's another question where you know where, where is something. Okay. So you figure it out eventually. Just learn new words to, you know, ask about things, where things are. Okay, the next sentence is, xian zai ji dian. Xian zai ji dian. Xian zai what time is it? Okay, so what time is it? Xianzai, blah, 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 12 o'clock. Okay, so it's going back to the numbers again. You have to learn the numbers, and then the hour is dian, and then minutes is feng zhong, I think. Feng zhong, that's the minutes. So you have to like figure out. I'm still practicing, guys, so I'm not really perfect at this thing, but yeah. Xianzai, blah blah blah. This is the time. Or if you don't know how to say it, if someone asks you, like a Chinese people ask you, like Bu Hao Yi Si, Xianzai, Ji Dian, and you don't know what they're saying, like they're asking you what time is it, then you can just show your phone and say, There you go. If you don't want to say it, because you don't know how to say it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then the next sentence is Ni 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 Zhou Shi Ma Guan Zhou. So this one is like, what do you do for work? Like, what's your job? Yes, because the sentences in Mandarin, they're so confusing. They're not like in English, not, they're not formulated the same way as in English. But yeah, it's like, what is your job? What, what do you do for work? Then you can answer if you're a teacher like me, that's it, you're a teacher, that's it, okay? You can ask the person like, if you, I mean, you, you don't really need to ask the person because now you will be creating more conversation if you say Nime, then they have to say, oh, I'm um, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing this. I'm uh, maybe like I'm a doctor or something like that. Then you have to like continue with the conversation, right? <laughs> but if you don't know how to continue with the conversation, then you are stuck. So just leave it at there, okay? This next sentence, you will be asked whenever you go out to buy something, you want to buy something, they will say, 你要吃什么, right? 你要吃什么. Then they want to know, what do you want to eat? What do you want to, like, what are you looking to eat? What, what, like, what do you want to eat? You're there to buy, but you don't, you're like, you need to, like, they want to know what do you want to eat. So you need to have, like, an answer. You can, well, we can talk about that another time. Maybe, guys, I'm too fast. I don't know. I'm just telling you the sentences that I learned. If you are interested in learning these sentences, um, I suggest that you look into YouTube because I'm not native Chinese. I'm just learning myself also. So, <laughs> But I'm going to be doing a challenge uh, where I'm trying to learn Chinese. So I hope that you guys can tune in for that. And if you are interested, um, please make sure you, you know, comment down below and let me know if I can do like maybe one month challenge of learning specific things about Chinese. OK, because there is no way you can learn Chinese in one month, but maybe we, you can learn a specific topic 
you know, within the Chinese language about specific things, maybe like people, maybe like food, maybe like different things, okay? So maybe we can do those type of um, challenges and then we just see our progress, guys. Like, please, please comment down below if you are interested and show me the support guys like we're almost there we're almost close to 1000 subscribers so please show me some love some hearts in the comment section um but yeah the next statement is you want to know if someone speaks english because this is a very difficult situation to be in a country where not many people speak english or not many people want to speak english sometimes they know english but they don't want to speak english okay but you want to be able to ask someone if they know how to speak english so you just say me hui shu ying yu ma ying yu ma i found out i learned this before i came to taiwan i say i always ask people ni hui shu ying yu ma and then people answer the question hui yes i can or bu hui i can't right but then i realized that actually the local people in taiwan they don't usually say in you ma like in you in you it's the language english they don't say that they say in when even chinese they don't say han you they say zhong wen okay so it would be better to say ni hui shu in wen ma i am guessing that's how you know you would put it but Either way, it doesn't matter because they know that, you know, it's like the formal type, it's the formal Chinese, the one they learn at school, but then there's the local Chinese that people use around where you are. This is my thinking. I'm still, you know, trying to figure out things when it comes to that. But yeah, okay. The next statement that I've learned that has been very useful for me is, I want this, right? Remember I said, Previously, they will ask you, what do you want to eat? Then you, it's nice to be able to answer that question. I want blah, blah, blah. I want this. I want that. Okay. So you can say, wo ya, wo I ya, want whatever. Okay. Wo yao tang mian. I want soup noodles. Wo yao chow mian. I want fried noodles. Wo yao ri chow ke li. Something like that. I want hot chocolate. You know, even if you don't say the pronunciation properly, they 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 will kind of figure out what you're trying to say sometimes. So sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> but just keep practicing. This is my goal. My goal is to keep practicing until I get it right. But yeah. Um, and then the next last thing i don't know if this is number 10 or maybe it's an extra one that i'm giving you is if you don't understand maybe someone is saying something to you and you just completely don't understand because you just have to listen to them but they're speaking in mandarin and you have no idea what they're saying you just say i listen ting bu but not hear what you're saying okay so just simple like that and just keep practicing guys but yeah this is my video i hope that you guys like this video comment down below if you like this video if you don't i don't know what's your problem but okay <laughs> okay guys so see you in the next video bye thanks for watching